And we are back here on Open. The fourth annual official Latino Film and Arts Festival is taking place between September 24th and September 27th. And filmmaker Danny Hastings, well, he created the festival back in 2015 in response to the lack of Latino representation in Hollywood films and TV shows. He's now here with us in the studio, and we welcome Danny Hastings, the director of the official Latino Film and Arts Festival with the special emphasis on official. Good to have you. Thank you, Darren. Thank you for having me. Yes. Super excited. Yes. So tell me, this has been going on for a few years, and uh, what makes this so special to you? Uh, well, what makes this special to me is that we are predominantly focusing on what American Latinos are producing. Mm -hmm. So in reality, we uh, are a domestic film festival. We don't focus too much on international. We do have a, a small international participation, but we're interested in uh, what the uh, a filmmaker from the Bronx is doing, a filmmaker from Tucson, Arizona is doing, a filmmaker from East LA is doing. So we're really focusing on uh, a national platform for the young American Latino filmmaker, mm -hmm. uh -huh. which sets us different from like a lot of the Latino film festivals that are going around. I want to tell our viewers now, the dates are from October the 11th to the 14th. You can come on and check it out. And for people who are there, what do they have the ability to see? Well, I, I want to clarify that we have, we're a bi-coastal film festival. Mm -hmm. So in New York City, we have uh, the preliminaries in New York City from September 24th to September 27th right now, which is next week. Right. Then we travel to Coachella, California, and we have a national platform from October 11 to October 14. And basically what we do is we open the Hispanic Heritage Month, mm -hmm. right, with New York City, and we close Hispanic Heritage Month with Coachella, California. Ah. So what are people gonna see? Oh man, people are gonna see uh, about 150 films, written, directed, and produced, and short films, mm -hmm. right? Written, directed, and produced by, mostly by American Latinos, you know, from the US. And uh, we have like about a 10% international uh, uh, short films pro uh, being screened as well. We talked about underrepresentation when it comes mm -hmm. to being in film, television. When you watch, you know, mainstream media, you'll see that. And unfortunately, to get a, a larger light, you have to have, you know, the film festival and, and, and other ways to get seen. Talk to us about the progress that's been made because obviously a lot of progress has been made. Yeah, Darren, um, when, when I created it, when I created it, I was actually watching the Oscars. Mm -hmm. This was before the hashtag Oscars so white phenomenon, right? That yeah. happened, right? I was watching and I was like, where are we? How come we're not here, right? And um, th there's, uh, there's some crazy stats going on right now and, and out of, uh, Last year, out of all the, the movies that were produced by Hollywood, only 2% had Latino leads. And out of that 2% of Latino leads, the majority were stereotypes. Mm -hmm. So wh what's happening is like, you know, writers that are putting, that are basically writing these Hollywood movies don't see us as other type of characters. Right. So what I say to myself, I need to go back into the community and make sure I support the emerging filmmaker because we do write what we know. So we write our stories not really thinking Latino, but thinking family member, executive, uh, politician, mm -hmm. nurse, medical doctor. You know what I mean? Like right. we don't think like Latino first. We think character first. It just so happens that we're Latino. So there's a big difference. Mm -hmm. on the way you're gonna see our content. I, I talk to a lot of friends who are in the business and, and they're out there. They say one of the biggest challenges is, it's not just necessarily having people in front of the screen, but having those writers that are actually able to tell the story. Exactly, and that's why one of the, the criteria for, for our film festival is very important. Uh, one of the criteria is either the writer, the director, or the producer has to be Latino, mm -hmm. right? one of them, which, you know, we can collaborate with many different people. Right. And one lead has to be Latino, right? Latino, Latina, Latinx, right? Mm -hmm. um, and that's very important to me because only us are going to be able to represent us the right way, right? When you write something, you're going to see, like, you're going to see in here movies from, d like, different type of characters, mm -hmm. different, like, the whole spectrum. 
Right. You know, we have clowns, we have, we have scientists, we have a movie in space. You know what I mean? We, have, uh, we open up the festival with a very important block called Las Jefas block. Mm -hmm. Films written, directed, and produced by women. Mm -hmm. That's how we kick off the festival. So it's a very inclusive festival. I Please, I need you guys to come and support and spread the word and come. And really, you're going to see yourself for the first time in the big screen. So, so before we get out of here, tell people yeah. once again how to come, how to check you out, how to yeah. support. Very easy. Go to OfficialLatino.com. And in there, you're going to see the entire platform. You're going to be able to buy tickets, see a uh, link to all the movies, and uh, come and share. And, and our platform is Official Latino all across the board, at Official Latino. Danny Hastings. Thank you, Darren. Good Thank to have you, bro. Thanks for having me. Hey, glad to have you. All right, Danny Thank Hastings, you. who's the director of the official Latino Short Film Festival. Taking a quick break. We've got more show coming up. Stay with us. Coming back in a few.